What's good? I'm Xavier from DX the Trader. Today's video is going to be a leg day video. I'm going to be working out with another trainer from one of the gyms that I train out of. His name is Hillary. Today we focus on a high volume workout. So in the beginning, before he joined the workout, I started off on a leg press. I did some upright rows and some other shoulder movements. Usually on a leg day, I'm doing abs and shoulders or I'm trying to superset a multitude of different exercises. On this particular day, I was kind of short on time, so I let him pick the exercises when we did link up to workout. We did mostly stuff on the leg press. We did some machine exercises, and then we did some stiff leg deadlift variations in a cage. Now, in terms of today's topic, what I would like to talk about is just the way people are easily manipulated and controlled. We are opposed to Trump's election and his victory. A lot of people are pro-Trump. A lot of people didn't understand how black men and other marginalized groups voted for Trump. Me, personally, I did not vote. I'm not going to lie to you because both parties are wicked. Both policy parties have policies built for the wicked. Both parties are not going to do anything to improve my life as a black man or improve the life of those around me. Um, right now where we are in society with American politics, everything is divisive because that's what makes money. Everything that's divisive is easily monetizable. Anytime that we were cohesive and on the same page, that's not a way for people who are rich to get rich. No matter who's in the office, whether it's a Democrat or Republican, I believe that the rich will stay rich and the poor will stay poor. If you're suffering now with Biden in office, you're going to continue to suffer with Trump in office. A lot of people who are not even believing that, okay, well, this time around, I'm going to give this guy a chance, or who believe that Democrats or, or Republicans, however you want to look at it, are the reason why your life is in shambles, you're, the reason your life is in shambles. Now, I will say that people who genuinely believe that Trump is a good fit for the country or genuinely believe that Harris or Biden or any of these old people were good fits for the country are idiots. In terms of the left and the right, if there's a left and a right, it has to be attached to the same thing. And what I mean by that is if I'm sitting in the car and I'm sitting in the right side and the driver's going to turn right, I'm also going to turn right because the driver is turning right. If the driver turns left, I'm going to turn left because that's the we're in the same vehicle. Now, in terms of the body, I have a left hand and a right hand. So when we talk about this political system and it's a two-party system, there's a left and a right side. It's attached to the same thing. For the last 50, 60 years, this government has failed its citizens across the board, no matter who's been in office and it's been divisive across the board, no matter who's been in office. Racism took the surge towards the end of Obama's election because white men and other groups felt marginalized and discouraged because a black man was in office. Black people didn't gain any leverage with Obama in office. Black people lost ground, in fact, with Obama being in office and lost even more ground post Obama's uh, term as presidency. Now, in terms of Trump, when black men talk about Trump and idolize him and fanboy over him, it's often annoying uh, just because politics in general is wrestling. The analogy I gave about the left and the right being attached to the same body applies to politics. Neither group is going to do anything that's going to help black people. Other cultures and other races have gotten ahead, but it's only by proxy. So for the Hispanics and the Asians and the Arabs and everybody else that voted for the Republican Party, they're only being, you're only being used as a puppet or something to buffer between whites and blacks. Now... In terms of policies, I look at it like this. If for the last 60 years or however long we've been worrying about a border, it has not been fixed, that is by design. If we've been having a war on drugs since Nixon was in office and that has not been fixed, it is by design. If we've had a war on crime since Reagan was in office and it has not been fixed, that is by design. Those are illusions. It's not saying that crime doesn't happen or that immigrants don't cross the border, but those are problems that are purposely placed there. And every time somebody runs for office, they all stand on the platform of fixing pre-existing problems. They say they're going to fix racism. They say they're going to fix sexism. They say they're going to make things equal. And then we have the Democratic Party and the Republican Party. And both parties are fighting for and against things. If you look at the history of the United States, the only time laws are made that benefit marginalized people is when it's actually going to turn around and benefit rich people more. In terms of the DEI thing, in terms of... Um, 
affirmative action and a number of other different things none of it actually benefited black people it came into play when my mom was born and if my mom is still alive and you're taking away something that's supposed to help people uh women minorities so forth and so on from being discriminated against in the same lifetime of somebody who was born the same year it came into effect that lets me know that it was never meant to help us to begin with i personally don't even know nobody that benefited from it with Biden being in office, I don't know anybody that benefited. With Trump being in office, I don't know anybody that benefited. The people that know people that benefited are the people who are in politics and the people who are rich. A lot of people make the false assumption and assume that if they're pro-Trump, they're going to be rich. It's just picking one slave master over another. So when people talk to me about politics, they have deep philosophical beliefs and understandings and inner records about politics. It just come off as naive. A lot of immigrant men are... Republican because immigrants believe in the American dream more than Americans. The little things that blacks are supposed to get, we don't get unless we fight for it. It's always a lot of red tape, but when the media presents it, it presents it in a way as if we're not taking advantage because we're lazy or that we've taken advantage of it and we're still behind. Um, Aaron McGruger, or whatever the dude name is that made the boondocks, talked about it way back in 2002 about how America was tired of black people, so it wouldn't matter if we were in the wrong or right or about certain situations. How they see our lifestyle, they see as if we're always flaunting in their face and as if we're always doing things that are unbecoming of being an American citizen. So when things happen to us, it's our own fault. And in terms of how politics have went, that's become a sentiment for both parties. The Republicans look at it as whatever's going wrong is the Democrats' fault and they do everything they can to undo what Democrats are doing and the Democrats do the same to the Republicans. So we're pretty much in a position where we're in the shit show. I'm gonna do, well I already have a podcast. I'm gonna post it soon, but I'm gonna break this down more thoroughly so that it makes a little bit more sense. I just wanted to crank this video out. I'm Xavier from GSA Trainer and I'm out.